Hi everyone, welcome to Slice of Life. My name is Dabney. I'm the Young Adult Librarian at the Twin Lakes Library System and I use they them pronouns. For today's episode, we are going to be cooking with pumpkins. So last um, month in October, um, I decorated this pumpkin. You can still see Castiel's outline in Sharpie. Um, during that episode, I painted this pumpkin and um, you know, I'm gonna be cooking it today. So I've washed off all the paint, washed my pumpkin. The Sharpie didn't come off, but I don't really think that's gonna matter because I'm not gonna be eating this outer layer. So it should be fine. Um, so yeah, roasting a pumpkin takes a really long time. So we're not actually gonna sit around for like 40 minutes um, doing that. So I'm gonna get the process started and then um, possibly come back at the end and finish it. We'll see how that goes. But things that you'll need to roast your pumpkin, you're gonna need um, something to cut your pumpkin open with. I have this, it's like a little carving utensil for if you're making a jack-o-lantern. Um, you can use sharp knives. Um, be careful in the kitchen. Um, I don't know how old you are, whoever you are watching this, but um, if there are rules about sharp knives, follow those rules. But here's a really big knife. It's not actually that sharp, but it's big. Um, and then once we've got this open, as you'll see in a minute, and I just realized, well, anyways, whatever. Um, <laughs> you'll need something to scoop your seeds out with. So a spoon works fine. Ice cream scooper, we'll see which one works better while we're doing this. And I also have a couple bowls handy to put the seeds in and then the other like fiber stuff in the middle that we're gonna scrape out. Um, once we get to like putting this stuff in the oven, you're gonna need a pan. So ideally what you would do is you'd put parchment paper down on your pan to keep um, your pumpkin from sticking and from creating a mess. I don't have parchment paper, so we're just gonna, you know, make do. And then the recipe that I'm following um, calls for you to put um, kosher, like sea salt, on your pumpkin slices, which we'll get to. Um, I've seen others that, you know, recommend using olive oil. It just depends. So we're gonna get started. I've already got a head start cutting around the top. So inserting my cutting tool. This works really nice. Um, I've never used one of these before. So I, cause I've always like used knives when I've made like jack-o'-lanterns or cut pumpkins and it's really hard to manipulate it. But this is really nice because this blade is kind of flexible, so it's giving you like more control. It also slices through here really easily. Um, so I'm really glad I hung on to this and I'm definitely going to use it from now on. Okay, so the top has come off. There's that fiber stuff I was talking about. And now what I'm going to do is cut my pumpkin in half and then start scooping it. Out. Um, you know, if you were making this a jack-o'-lantern, um, you would obviously want the hole at the top to be bigger, so that gives you more room to reach in and scoop out all the seeds and stuff, but you know, we're just doing this, I'm gonna put this directly in the oven, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't think I'm gonna need my big knife because this thing is working really well. If you can hear my cat, he's yelling. So some people like really hate the way that pumpkins smell. I actually don't mind it, but it is kind of a weird smell. So if you are doing this and you've never smelled fresh pumpkin and you're like, this doesn't smell right, um, it's probably fine. <laughs> it just has an odd smell to it. Now we're gonna break this open. Oh my gosh. It kind of felt like Captain America right there. 
um, I can't remember which Avengers movie it is, but when he's like <laughs> splitting a piece of firewood with his bare hands. Yeah, I just had that feeling. Okay, I'm going to use my spoon. So let me tilt this down so y'all can see a bit better. Look at this. Huge. Um, so we're just going to, you know what, I'm going to use my bare hands first. And we're just scooping out those seeds. Those are going to go into a separate bowl because you can clean off the seeds, which we'll do in a little bit, and roast them. Now, again, like with the pumpkin roasting, um, it takes a bit of time. The recipe I'm going to do later, it has you roasting um, your pumpkin seeds for like 20 to 30 minutes. And these are big pumpkin seeds too. So this is like, you know, this was just a jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. Um, they have different kinds you can buy, like different sizes. Usually the kind you find in the produce, um, I think are called like sugar pumpkins and they're small. Okay, now we're gonna see how this works. Let me wipe my hands off. It helps to have a dish towel on your counter. Okay, yeah, this is better than using the spoon for sure. So we're just scraping the inside of our pumpkin. And, you know, when we roast the pumpkin, you might be like wondering what we're even going to do with that. And um, what you do, and hopefully we can do this later in the video, is the pumpkin, like after it's roasted, you take it, like you peel it off the skin, and you can blend it in like a blender and make pumpkin puree. And pumpkin puree is what you'll use to... Um, like make a pumpkin pie. So, you know, you can buy cans of pumpkin that are like, you can buy cans that are just straight up pumpkin, or you can buy cans that have been a pumpkin that have been like spiced and sweetened and that are ready to be used as pumpkin pie filler. Um, I've never made a pumpkin pie. And this year, <laughs> I'm going to try to do it. Um, to be honest, pumpkin pie is like not really my favorite pie. It kind of has some nice like holiday nostalgic value to it. But honestly, I'm not like the biggest fan. It has to be, you know, and part of that is like since I've gone vegan, um, I haven't really been able to find that many like vegan substitutes for like whipped cream. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna cut this again so we can have some smaller pieces. But yeah, pumpkin pie for me requires like a lot of <laughs> whipped cream or um, what is that other stuff called? I don't remember. Cool it, yeah. <laughs> It has to have that, like a lot of that, for it to taste good to me. And in the past, there just hasn't been many vegan options. But now there are, actually. You can buy vegan whipped cream at Kroger. I cannot believe my eyes. Um, you can also make your own vegan whipped cream. I just kind of don't want to. Um, all right. So these are big pieces. All right. Now what I'm going to do is rinse my hands off real fast. And I'm going to sprinkle these with some sea salt. With like one of these little things.
So it doesn't really have an amount of salt to put on there. I'm just kind of making sure the whole area is generally covered. And let's see. I'm going to look up my recipe really quickly. Um, I had, <laughs> let's see. using the Food Network's recipe. And one second, there's all of these things. Um, so the oven has been preheated to 400 degrees. We've got that, we've got the salt on there. And we're gonna put it down, flush side down on the baking sheet and roast until a paring knife can easily be inserted and removed from the pumpkin 30 to 45 minutes. All right, so let's go see this baking sheet. So I'll show you all. Um, <laughs> these pumpkins are huge, right? Um, Trying to decide if I should cut these into smaller pieces, and I think I will. Um, not that that's going to make a huge amount of difference, I don't think, but we'll see. Okay, that did help a little bit. So now they're like a little bit like flatter on here. I don't know if both all this is gonna fit at once but I'm gonna have to do like two rounds of baking um, uh -oh. all right yeah okay it's very crowded, so as you can see, um, can only fit this many at a time, which is fine. Um, so I'm gonna rinse my hands. And we're gonna put them in the oven. So the timer is set for 30 minutes. And at that point, I'll check it, see how it's doing. If it needs to stay in there longer, I can leave it in there longer. All right. So here are our pumpkin seeds. Actually, we're going to get the rest of the pumpkin seeds from the other half of the pumpkin. And then we're going to clean them off um, and get them ready to be baked. I don't know if y'all can hear my cats, but they are fighting. I don't know why. So. And yeah, roasting a pumpkin is like kind of a long ordeal. Because, you know, I... I do have another baking sheet, so maybe I might have to do two at once. <laughs> um, this is very slimy, the texture of this. And we almost got all of our seeds out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm kind of just trying to pull the seeds loose from this, um, this like pumpkin fiber stuff. And pumpkin seeds, um, if you've never eaten them before, they're just, they're 
so good. Um, you know, they're, they have a definitely a unique taste and, you know, you can, there's like lots of different recipes on how you can bake them and season them. But the one I'm using comes from the Minimalist Baker. And so what we're going to do is after we clean these off, we're going to toss them in like a tablespoon of coconut oil. Um, you know, you can use different kinds of oil. It doesn't really matter. You know, you could use vegetable oil, olive oil, whatever you've got. Um, you could also use butter or vegan butter, which I like vegan butter. Um, I like using Earth Balance, just FYI. Um, and then, so you toss it in your oil or butter, and then you can season it. So, you know, you can just, if you just want it to have salt, that's all you need to do. Um, or you could like get real fancy and do other spices. So when it gets time, I'll show you all. I have, um, a thing of like Italian spice blends that I've had forever and ever and I don't really use it that much but I'm gonna use one of those for this um, but yeah just whatever kind of spices you like on there um, garlic pepper paprika Yeah, I love that, you know, pumpkins, hardly any of it actually is thrown away at this point. Um, basically, it's just this fiber that's inside the pumpkin. And even that, like, I'm just going to go put it out in my compost bucket. You know, if you live alongside some woods or something and you have the ability to just, like, dump stuff out in the woods, you can do that. Yeah, there's one kind of soup recipe I really like to make, a pumpkin soup. And I'll have that link to the video as well, just in case y'all want to check it out. I think it's a minimalist baker recipe. That's Alan, who's crying right now. He's being very loud. But yeah, um, Thanksgiving's coming up, and I don't know if, you know, you all celebrate that or not um but yeah lots of holidays are coming up where I think you know for a lot of people like kind of the highlight of the holidays is the meals you share with the people in your life um that's kind of been the case for me growing up and I don't know what I'm gonna make this year that's like ever since going like well I've been vegetarian for like a really long time since like I was a senior in high school and so that always kind of is like a little bit of a you know what are we gonna feed Dabney and then I became vegan and it's kind of like I'm sort of like on my own for figuring out like what I'm gonna eat um so I haven't figured out my Thanksgiving menu this year but all right So, our seeds got the fiber away. I'm going to rinse these off in the sink. One thing when you're rinsing off your seeds um, that can help is if you have a colander or a strainer like this and you can pour your seeds in here and kind of work on them like that. Okay, so our seeds are looking pretty good. I'm going to put this over the bowl and then I'm
I'm going to real quick reference my other recipe because I can't remember if um, I need to let these dry or not before I um, roast them. So let's just go over to that recipe and see what it says. Okay, yes, so we're gonna need to let these dry thoroughly before um, we're able to roast them. That's gonna help speed up the roasting process and make sure our end result for the seeds are like, you know, nice and crispy. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna spread these out on like another dish towel and then by the time this pumpkin's done, I'm gonna check on the seeds and see how they're doing. But um, yeah, I'll be back in a bit and we'll um, continue cooking. Hi, welcome back. Okay, we are gonna wrap up um, our cooking project. So I have the dried pumpkin seeds here. And it's about over a cup of um, pumpkin seeds. So the recipe said um, to do one tablespoon of coconut oil per cup of seeds. So I'm gonna do a little bit more than one tablespoon. So I'm gonna add this coconut oil, add a little bit more. And then it said a healthy pinch of salt. So I've got salt here. And I'm just gonna grind it up. You can always add more salt later, but I'm just gonna maybe kind of overdo it a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna do a teaspoon of um, this. Sicily blend, which has like garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, paprika, red pepper, and other spices in it. So I'm going to add that. And then we're just going to stir it up, toss all those things together. And I can smell those spices, they smell really good. So after you've got that mixed really well, we're gonna spread these out on a baking sheet. Which I have here. And I'm just gonna make sure this is like evenly distributed so we don't have like a lot of seeds piled on top of each other. in our oven for 20 to 30 minutes so you can check on it. I'm probably going to check on it at about like 10 minutes and kind of stir these around and then check on it at 20 minutes to see how they're doing. You know, you want them to end up being like golden brown. So let's put these in the oven. Which I forgot to check the time on that. Um, so let me see. Well, not the time. Check the temperature that we're baking it because it's still set to 400 from when I was baking the pumpkin. Roasting the pumpkin, I should say. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> 325. So let's... Um, change that really quick on our oven. Okay, 
right, so the timer is set. That's going. Um, and yeah, another thing that this recipe recommended was putting parchment paper down, kind of like with a pumpkin. Again, I don't have parchment paper, so we're just um, doing our best. And then here, um, we're going to puree some pumpkins. So I've already put some in here. Um, this is another piece, so I'll tilt this down so y'all can see. So for this, you know, you could use a knife, you could use a spoon. I'm just using my fingers. So this recipe recommended that you let your pumpkin cool for one hour before you um, peel it, which is good because now it's just only a little bit warm. It's not quite cold yet, but it's just warm. Um, I, in the past when I've done this, I guess like maybe I didn't read the directions all the way, which is kind of typical for me. Sometimes I just like jump ahead. And I was like peeling off this, um, like the skin or whatever and burning my hands so bad because it was still too hot. And just get impatient, I guess. But right now, it's like a really good temperature. And I'm actually going to do this in batches. Um, I'm still waiting for some of the pumpkin I roasted after this to cool down to the right temperature. And hopefully this will blend up fine. Um, This is the first time I've roasted pumpkin without adding olive oil to it. So I'm kind of interested to see how well it's going to blend. But it is pretty, like, it is really moist. Like, and kind of, not exactly wet, but, you know, it's definitely not dry. Like, some, some areas are definitely have like more water to them than others. So um, I'm going to go try and blend this and hopefully it'll blend up. I'm kind of concerned because um, you know in the past like when things are not don't have like a lot of wet ingredients it's not blended that great but um we shall see there is the blender and if you want to turn the volume off this is a good time because it's about to get loud all right i'm gonna just pause the video and keep blending this on my own um, and then come back and tell you all like what I ended up doing because as I said I was kind of concerned about it not blending and it's not really blending so I need to figure out what I'm going to do with that but yes stay tuned I'll be back okay we are at the end finally sorry this video is like forever long um pumpkin puree this is one batch. This is like three of those slices of pumpkin. Um, I ended up having to, I have like a tiny food processor that's like processor that's like this big and I had to do like little batches um, to get it to be this kind of smooth consistency, you know, about the consistency of um, applesauce. So it's um, time consuming. It's my least favorite part of all this because the food process is really loud and I don't like it. Um, and then pumpkin seeds are done. Um, these taste really good. They're crunchy. They kind of taste like popcorn. So I'm just going to put them in this container. And again, you know, all these recipes are going to be linked to the video um, as long as some other things and if you go on those recipes they'll tell you like how long you know these things will keep for like I'm pretty sure you know you can freeze 
the pumpkin puree if you need to. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hopefully, you know, maybe sometime you'll get a chance to make some of these things, but um, that is all. And um, next week, you know, we have like some holiday closing, so we won't have a slice of life episode, but we will still have um, Must Read Monday. I believe Abby is doing K-pop books, so get excited. I'm excited. And also, um, I'm doing another crafting video. But yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye!